It's a 1903 Springfield. It's uh, about 10 and a half pounds, depending on weapon. We, uh, with our performance weapons, they're completely made out of wood, uh, except for the chrome parts. Uh, with our practice weapons, the ones that you'll be seeing a lot around here today, uh, we have black barrels and plastic uh, stocks, so if something happens and they break, they're a lot easier to replace. And the same with the bayonets, we don't chrome the bayonets on the practice weapons because if they do break, then you know we can just put another chrome bayonet on. And we use the tape here so the bayonets don't break. And uh, you know, just little things here and there. We put tape on certain parts of the weapon to kind of hold it together on the practice weapons. And with our wood weapons, we try to keep them as clean and neat as possible, but with the the job and, and hitting the weapon and doing the things that, that we do with the weapon, they kind of start to fall apart pretty fast. It's a real bayonet. Uh, we get them very sharp. They're actually made to fight with when we first get them and we have to dull them down. And we try to keep them dull. If you spin it fast enough, it doesn't matter how hard or dull it is, it, it still cuts you up pretty bad. All right, bring it in. That's, that's not the only problem, though. When we're going out into X and O's, the two and three men aren't getting where they, where they left at. I watched it, and uh, before we went out in X and O's, we were good. On the way back, you guys automatically condense it down. I don't know what it is. Make sure you're getting back to your spots so that we have that tool, two full steps for the cluster. Cause... So keep that in mind. You want to keep it the same speed throughout the whole manual. Don't speed up just that one section, and in the circle, there's still two or three people that are leaving gaps. Don't lose your head. We got those four mites, more times for arch, just for dress. All right, so make sure you're paying attention, you know where you're at. Dress to the shoulders, but also pay attention to where you're at, at the, on the line panel. We have soloists, which obviously they do the solo routine. They're the lead trainers and everything related to the drill. We have the special, two specialties, which are the throwers and catchers for uh, the overhead rifle toss. Obviously, throwers throw it, catchers catch it. And uh, they also run the ends of the line. And uh, they, they typically lead training for the regular drillers. We call them RDs for short. Um, they, they do everything within the performance, but it's just the basic moves and manuals. And so the way we have it set up is the RDs will lead the newer guys, trying to teach them the drill get better at their regular standards. The specialty will teach the RDs how to do the specialties job and solos teaches the specialty how to do the solos job. You guys, this 21s are really, really shaky. You got to hit, go into the 21, do your proper choo-choo and tuck it and squeeze as hard as you can because you can tell if some of you marking, marking time, it's like wobbling and you can see it really bad. And the same thing with uh, the flare hand. Keep the flare hand up. Don't let it wobble around. We're our hardest critics, and that's that's what keeps us sharp. We have drills actually where uh, get the guys all stressed up in the middle of while they're running through the performance, and that way if they can maintain composure and continue with the performance in a stressful environment, then a little mistake in front of a crowd is nothing. And they go on. We teach them if you mess up, you continue going on like. Like you were the only one that was right and everybody else was wrong. We don't get a chance to come out of the cemetery. A lot of times we're in the cemetery though, we have uh, tape and brushes that we can clean off of. You know, horse slobbers on us or coated in white horse hair.
too far. Uh, the lead horse are the first two at the front of the wagon, and then you've got swing or the second two, and then wheel will be the two that are closest to the actual wagon itself. Colonel, United States Army, wheel. Ready. Lead. Ready. Swing. Ready. Case on. Board. Oh. Uh, for me, um, what's running through my head from the time I leave the barn uh, is 